Oh. This is the fastest way for you to level up in hard food online. Right now, you can level up from 1 to 20, but there is a method where you can go beyond level 20 that I'm gonna share to you in this video. All right, boys and girls, welcome for another hard food online video. And today, I'm gonna show you the fastest way for you to level up in this game. So right now, we are in our level one character. So first things first, if you spawn in this game, you need not to grind these rodents here, which is level one. I want you to go in this thing here and you need to find a bunny level two or level three. Level four might not be for you because you know, they might be, they might hit you hard and it might makes you, you know, struggle in grinding them. Look at that. I have low HP. So I really advise that you will go into level two or level three um, bunny. So you will go here and then go below in here. Then you can easily find them. Yeah, we have level two here. So it's very easy to grind them and it, they give a, a lot XP. 100 XP compared to um, the Rudens that is level 1. They only give like 45 or something like that. So once you reach level 3, you can go in these mobs in here and you need to find level 4. So you are using a 1 level gap in grinding. So right now we can only have heal and yeah, that, that Rudens only give four, I mean 39 XP. And I'm grinding this level 4 deer. And, or is this a deer? Yeah, I have this 119. So level 3... So I really advise that you can get a plus one or plus two in your um, level when you are grinding. So one, zero, eight. So yeah, not bad. So you need to grind in here until you reach, no, not level five. They really hit hard. So we have three level gap there. So that's the max gap and you'll die if you, if you like grind that or forced to grind that. If you can do that, then you can also find a bunny level four, which is also a very good um, way to grind or grinding your level. So if you are not strong enough to kill some um, deer there, yeah, 119 each. So yeah, that's how you do the XP. And uh, let me go with my stats. Since I'm a priest, I might be using a HP in here. So yeah, let's do that. So we will be building a full HP um, priest. All right. So once you've reached level five from grinding these mobs in here, so from level three, then you will grind these mobs until level five. You can now go in the next mobs. And one short, I mean, one small indication we have is they have this horn, and these mobs is ranging from seven to eight levels. So you can grind them until level seven. So after that, also we have another. Um, area in here where you can find these mobs here. So depending on the amount of players, you can um, find different spots so that you can solo grind these mobs here. Also, I'm a warrior and I'm using a bow since you know it's it convenient for me right now. Okay, so you can grind. Oh, they he just uh, throw us a free spell. So after that, you've reached level seven to eight, or ranging from level seven to eight. I need you to go in here in this area because you can now grind or you can find a level nine mobs, and then you need to start grinding that though. We have level nine here. So you need to avoid the uh, level 10 because it might be hard for you to solo grind. Also, if you have party, this is very convenient for you in doing your grinding. So yeah, just need to um, pick the mobs that you can grind here. So I really advise it going to level nine. So you are like level seven right now, and then you are grinding a plus two mobs here. Then if it's hard for you, depending on your class, because there are a disadvantage of each class. Also, there's some advantages of each class. You can now go back to this map here and then just pick the level eight map. So we have level eight here. And then after you've reached level eight, I know that it will be a lot easier for you grinding level nine and 10 compared that grinding um, using a level seven character. So yeah, you just need to do, do that. And yeah, let me do that. my skill. And also guys, in my latest video, if you did not watch that talking about stags, which is the best mobs in the game because they have increased the spawn rate, that means also that you can increase the amount of XP you can get over time, also the chances of loot you can get from these mobs here. And you will be grinding these stags here until level 12. Okay, so take note of that guys, from level seven or eight, until level 12 or 13 so it is the fastest way compared to the other mobs which i've tried and yeah it is very convenient for you especially that these mobs has increased the spawn rate okay so if you reach now level 12 or 13 i now advise you to go in this area i don't advise grinding this um 
swine here or boar I want you to go in this area and get this level 12 as you can see here so let me do my um, spear so I can um, hit multiple targets at the same time so you need to grind this area here so I think this is the sweet spot for you almost died there so as you can see you can have in this area you can have this uh, maps also you can have in this area so most of the maps here are level 12 to level 13 so you can grind here until one level if you're level 13 you just need to grind one level until you get level 14 so if you've reached level 14 you can now go to the next area that you will be grinding which is a lot more um let's say that has a lot more value compared to other areas because of the loot that you can get and yeah it is also because the strongest mobs that you can grind so i don't really recommend grinding other mobs um this is just the path that i am sharing to you which is the fastest way compared to other mobs that you will be grinding such as the you know i think we have the vultures here so rather than grinding that you need to i mean you can grind in here they really give a lot of xp i have 137 and i'm gonna show you how much xp i'm gonna get later um from the from the birds that we can grind once you get level 14 in here or level 15 if you can proceed to the other area I mean, if you're struggling, so you can go up to level 15. But once you've got level 14, that's good to go. And then you will now proceed to the best area in grinding for you in that level, okay? Also, I think it has a lot of values. It gives a lot of values. Just take note of that because there's a lot of in-game items that they will drop that will be very useful for you depending on your class. Also for other people that is very high demand also for gold. So I'm going to show you how much XP I get from these vultures here. So I don't really recommend grinding here, but rather in the next, I mean the swine area or the boar area. So 137, we have 143, so I'm gonna get the level 13 since the boar is level 13. Also, the amount of mobs that is in here compared to the boar, that's why I really recommend the boar. 114, that's level, that's level 13. So compared to 137 level 13 boar, and they're easy to grind compared to this birds here. Okay, so yeah, that's how you can do it. Once you level 14, I now proceed to this bones here no no this skeleton <laughs> oh let me just stand here you really stinks i almost died there so what i'm doing here if i cannot go in a party if i go solo i go in this area and then i will have my ranged weapon here oh, okay i just died okay um from my ranged weapon since i am level 15 they are very close to my level and same to my level so i'm gonna go and grind here until i get level 20 okay so you will have, you will also find the mobs, which is level 16. Yeah, look at that. So that's plus, um, that's plus four for you. Okay, so if you are like targeting multiple mobs, if you're a warrior, I really recommend that you will go with melee because you can hit um, different or multiple mobs at the same time. But if you're like going to be playing safe, and then I really recommend also um, you know, using your bow or having a range in this area here. And yeah, look at that, level 18 also. So you can grind until 20 in here. That's plus two level. You can also have in this area. In, oh, they really sting. Okay, so you can also grind in this area. So all of these are filled with skeleton mobs. Uh, it's very persistent trying to follow me around. I don't want to get killed and you just need to resurrect. So yeah, you just need to grind in this area in here. So right now we can grind until the level 20. But as I've said, there is a trick where you can go beyond level 20. And this method is for those guys that really wants to, you know, advance in the game and really dedicated a lot of time grinding in this game so i'm gonna show you that so first is you need to find the mobs here which wears a helmet that we've saw earlier so that's level 18 so you can still get xp from uh, level 18 since you can have plus three there so you can go up to level 21 but it is also a rare um chance that it will be spawning also there's a lot of people there so i'm gonna go also to the next area where you can also grind but you know, I don't know guys, but players is really that very dedicated in the game and they're very persistent in grinding. 
that you know they they really are patient and yeah you just need to go in this area here it's very time consuming to grind using this but it is effective you know i've seen a lot of level 21 players also plus 21 22 23 24 you just need to go in these tags here and then you need to wait for the boss there is a boss that's spawned in here that is level 30. It will give you XP if you will be grinding that. All right, so I think that is all in this video, the fastest way for you to level up in Heartwood Online. And I hope that you did learn something. If you did, leave a like, if you're new, the subscribe button, hit the so that you don't miss any upload. This is Tuki. Thanks for watching. See you next vid.